Hi, I'm L.V. Miller, and this is my wife, Rebecca. Hi there. And we have this log cabin that we're going to put on Airbnb. There's a link below. We're going to give you a tour of the cabin, tell you the story, and also we're going to walk over to the log home operation, or I will, after we get done and show you the log home operations of Meadowlark Log Homes and the store over there, the Amish Farm to Market. So let's have a tour. You got something to say, Rebecca, on uh, this cabin as we go inside? Well, we lived here for our first about four years. four years after we were married. So it's a special cabin. So we built this cabin in 1994. I, let me correct that. I built the cabin. But Rebecca helped with the floor. Uh, we were dating and she helped with the floor. Uh, and that's all he helped. But then we moved in here in 95 after we got married. We had the two boys in here. Then moved next door to the bigger house. So... Uh, and we put I mean, a new floor in here a couple years ago. Yeah, about a year ago we put the new floor in. What else do you want to say? And then uh, I'll give them the, the tour of the, the construction, things like that. You want to say something on uh, some details here, Rebecca? Well, we have it here. Uh, right next to the metal art, uh, or the farm to market store. And uh, it was nice to be right here. And we had our first two little boys in here. It worked fine for us. For and then we moved into a bigger house, and that was cool. It was better. Do you want to say something about the cabin for the Airbnb for rent? Anything you want to point out to our, our viewers? Um, it was fun to get this ready for Airbnb, and we hope that anyone who stays here will have a really good time. Um, it should be really comfortable. I think it's pretty cute. I think she's pretty cute, too. Okay, um, I guess I'll just give a little bit of a history of the cabin, and then... Um, we'll go into log homes. And so I, I, st I started the construction of this in 1994. It's a metal large log cabin. It's 20 by 30. And we have similar cabins on our website, but I'm going to point out some of the older construction and the newer construction and a few details about the, the rental. So you can follow along, Rebecca, and point out anything you want us as we go along. We'll make this kind of quick. But this is for rent for the first time. We had some renters, some friends that moved out of the cabin now. And now we're putting this available for rent for one night, two nights, or whatever you want uh, in the link below. So like Rebecca said, she helped me when we were recording to put the floor down. But it got bad. We put a new floor down last year, a laminate floor. So that's new. But a lot of the cabin is not new. So I'll just be transparent. These cabinets, I made them. I can't believe I did this. They're pretty rustic. I mean, they're pine. I did this with a router thing myself and built these cabinets. I can't believe I built these cabinets. They're, they're uh, very rustic, not in great shape anymore. But Yeah, so this is what you get. It's, it's just we're offering this cabin. We lived here for four years, and it's, it's not uh, like up to our standards of today, but it's comfortable. And like this is not cheap. We hope to do that later. So we didn't chink between the logs. That would make it look nicer. There's fiberglass in the roof, so the insulation is not great in the roof. But it stays warm, but we're going to eventually probably tear off the top of the roof, put a foam insulation in with shingles, and uh, the metal's faded. So it's kind of old uh, metal. It's just kind of metal that day kind of faded. So there's things that aren't the quality or the standard we do today. Like the windows are they're okay. They're just kind of an old wood window. and The outside is chinked, though. Yeah, the outside is chinked, needs a coat of stain, but it's all, it works. It gives you an opportunity to live or stay in a cabin that we built, you know, many years ago, uh, 29 years ago, right? So here's the bedroom. And is that a new mattress, right, Rebecca? It's not totally new, but it's pretty good. Huh? This is almost new mattress. It's, it's uh, We felt it was pretty comfortable. That's a, is that double or queen? It's a queen. So queen bed, uh, a fairly comfortable and... You can unplug the Christmas lights if you don't want them at night or whatever. They're just plugged in the outlet. And does that light work back there, Rebecca? You want to turn that on? The lamp there. So a little nightstand and a chair and a closet. Again, a little rustic. It's painted uh, uh, sheeting on the back there. And uh, some blankets up here. And so there's your closet and a hamper for clothes. Some extra pillows because out front we have an extra bed so that way you can sleep you can sleep uh, two more people out here and child on the couch so you got the two beds and the couch 
The futon folds out into a bed as well. So this folds out into a bed for, for two people. So you could really sleep six adults if you really wanted to. Mm -hmm. Or yourself and, and some children. So this is a table that I think, did I make this table? I think so. I believe I made this table many years ago. It's a wood, wood table. And then, uh, what else? I made the cabinets. I made this pantry for your some food. And the store is right over there, about 100 yards. Uh, there's some apple butter my dad makes. Some organic apple butter from the store. You can open anything you find in here at the cabin. You can open and use. And uh, it's got a fridge. That works. Oops. Anything that happens to be in the fridge, you can feel free to use uh, and consume. And uh, some veggies in there. So there's Wi-Fi in the cabin. It's, it's pretty high speed. You can watch video. And here's a TV. Uh, runs off Wi-Fi. It's got like uh, it's a Roku TV, so it can use like it's like the app for uh, watching streaming video, right? So, and there's a floor lamp, and in this wood box, I'll show you this. This is for decoration, Rebecca, but we got some wood in there. There's plenty of wood out in the back of the wood house. And so this is an indoor-outdoor wood box. We'll have it full. You'll never have to fill it unless you stay more than three days or so. Let me put that back on. Put that. So we fill it from the back, outside, and you open the lid to get wood out for the stove. And you can choose to have us have the fire lit before you come, or you can light it yourself. It's easy to control. This is up, this is start, this is down. Another adjustment down there. Uh, so the, it holds fire overnight, but you don't need the fire. We have a heat pump, which keeps it perfectly warm in the house. This is just a, a nice. What's open and closed? Is that what you well, this is, you, get, you gotta put this up for start, start the fire, and then down when you wanna shut it down or adjust it. And this is back for starting the fire and forward for slowing it, it down. So it's back for open, up for open. It's got the two levers, but it works great. Holds fire, there's a stove, electric range and oven, and the cabinets are all basically empty, except there are some, some utensils in here. And, there's, and uh, there's, what all do we have here? There's plates and everything. There's plates and things up there. So it's got pots and pans. And uh, what's in here? Got cups for coffee, and a coffee maker, microwave, there's some popcorn. What's in here? Not much, Not much in there. Got some candles for, for decoration. Okay, uh, got a broom and a, and a dustpan, but we'll clean it, uh, obviously, when you're, you're done. So let's have a look outside. Rebecca's gonna go back home to the house, and I'll take a quick tour outside, and we'll go over to the Metal Arc Log Homes. So, this door was made by either me or my dad and my sister. Back in the day, we'd make these wooden doors, and that's why I'm not going to replace it. This door, it's it's a little leaky, but it's got this, we'd put this seal here. That's the original seal. We've never changed it. The door still works. We would put the own hinges on, the knob on. We made all the frame, and it made the whole door. I can't believe it. We made probably thousands of doors by hand. And in the old days, when I was a kid, I hated it, but we had a hand drill. Somewhere we still have the drill, I think, in the office. And we made hundreds of doors with. We'd put screws in with a hand drill. And uh, this was probably done with a battery drill about, you know, 29 years ago. That's about the time we started using battery tools. Or corded. Uh, it would be corded tools at that point. But uh, it works. And uh, that's the original door. I thought you guys might find that interesting. Uh, the old rustic door. And we're trying to keep the decor of the cabin just like it was when we built it. I'm not going to replace the windows. They're, like I said, they're not the greatest, but they're still tight, fairly tight. And here's two chairs that my dad made, here and here. And a little rickety, be careful when you sit on them, but they still work. And he used to build chairs like that out of our pine wood. The same wood as the log cabins used to be made of. And so these, these are some uh, cedar chairs that one of our friends makes, made years ago for the uh, to sit and watch the view out that way you can't see it now but there's a tremendous mountain view out that way uh, when the snow is not snowing and um so got a little porch here these original boards that we put on we milled and put on here and uh 
it's all original. Um, I gave it one coat of stain, of the Timber Pro stain, about six or eight years ago, and it's it's the original stain from uh, 20, uh, 29 years ago, except for one coat. So we'll walk around here, just get a peek on this side. It does need a coat of stain down here on this side for a little weathering, but it's uh, surprisingly doesn't have a lot of icicles, but it does have a little bit of heat loss because that fiberglass insulation is pretty, pretty bad, but it stays warm and it works for right now. So let's walk over quickly to the mill yard and uh, there's parking for two cars or three. You can get two or three cars in here. We'll have this walk shoveled before you come if there's snow. And we keep this plowed when there's snow. We, we keep this always plowed. It's the highway's right out there, the farm to market road. And uh, in the summertime, we have a garden, an orchard that you're free, uh, free to pick apples and, and uh, I forget what kind of fruit. There's several kinds of fruit we raise in that garden. That was our gar uh, orchard and garden. And this is a bigger garden that we grow things in. But whatever's in season, you can help yourself if you're here in the summer. But this might be a nice Christmas getaway. Or if you watch this video during the summer months, come anytime. So I'll walk quickly over to the, the log home operation. We'll get one more shot of that cabin over there. That storage room on this side is, is going to be turned into a bedroom. So we'll have a door going into that later and have two full bedrooms. Right now it's just storage for firewood and tools. But that will be a bedroom a little later. So we'll be renting this as a two bedroom cabin. This is a little bird, uh, bluebird model log cabin from Meadowlark Log Homes that uh, is storing the, the water. Uh, it's the water pump and the facilities for feeding the water to the, the Amish farm to market over there. That's the store over there. We'll take a tour of that. We'll go through the Meadowlark Log Homes. So it's about a hundred yards from the cabin to our facility here, which is Meadowlark Log Homes. And you can show them our house there. That's where we lived for about 15 years after the, the cabin, we moved in the big house. Now we rent it out and we live on the mountain about a mile and a half that way. But this is the, the facility where all of Meadowlark Log Homes are pre-assembled. They're pre-made right here including my cabin, was made here. Not, there, there was no roof at that time. There was just a concrete pad. That's why we still call this the pad, because it was a concrete slab or pad. And then later we built the building on top of it and added these overhead cranes. Everything is built here with these overhead cranes that are radio operated. And out in the yard we have, we have uh, the big tower crane. But in the building we have, uh, we prefer the building we have the, the four cranes, two big ones here and two small ones here. So we can build up to two houses here, two or three cabins here. This is a large house, just show that a little bit. This is a large house going locally that we're building. This is the top part of it. And the bottom part's been done and stacked. Do the bottom part first and the second floor is an open great room, a porch here and a great room here. And take a quick look at this and uh, yeah, let's take a look inside here real fast. And, uh, so Abijah here, he thinks that's a lot more fun than this scaffold. That thing goes up. Plus all, uh, he can reach the top with that, with that uh, the electric lift. So we use a lot of electric lifts going up and down to reach the high points. And then it's uh, pretty handy. So this is a, the upstairs tree assembly of a of the log house, we're putting in a very complex valley beam right there. All right, let's go on over here. This is the bottom floor of a garage. The whole thing is a really large garage. It'll have living quarters on top. And over they're taking it apart. This was all built. Now it's being numbered and taken apart log by log. Moved over here where they're Dressing the logs, trimming the logs, marking the logs. They're all marked and they're trimming them with the knives. And so this is how they do it. This is where the real work happens here. 
You want to show them how that's... Uh, the splice? Yeah, the splice is peeled off with a knife. Doctor, you want to roll the And show them how the... Right there. So they, they trim that down even with that where it matches the log and same with this. So... This uh, end of the log here. This is the log that protrudes out the out of the building that we trimmed that with a nice router. That's a finished end that sticks out of the house. You'll see this outside, and then just all you gotta do is sand off the numbers, and that's all you gotta do for the outside of that log. So that's all being taken apart in the stack. Pretty slippery out here. We'll make our way over to the store and get a view of that. And here's where all the logs are first peeled. To, with the, the bark is taken off out in the yard with mechanical and pressure washers out there. And then here is uh, where they get milled in the sawmills and then hand peeled in that building and moved over here. All these are the finished product, the finished logs, raw material, peeled and milled. They take these sizes out and move them over there to build those houses. So this wing is the storage wing of the logs ready to go into your new log house. When your new log house is completed, they wrap it and bundle it in these bundles out here. All those are piles of finished log house ready to ship. There are three log, parts of three log houses sitting right in this area. They'll be shipped soon. Mississippi, Montana, and another state, I think. All right, we'll quickly go to the store so our viewers don't get bored and click off to something else. So, uh, looks like we caught it at a slow time, very slow time, but usually over lunchtime, the thing picks up and gets really busy. So we'll just take a quick view inside. So from the store to the cabin is about 100 yards. And the reason I want to point that out is you can come over here uh, from 7 in the morning till 6 at night. It's open with breakfast and lunch and, and a, full, a, full, a full grocery. Anything you need for your supplies. And uh, I want to point that out because there's traffic coming in here. A lot of times it's full of traffic. There's people coming in and out. And, uh, and then also from the cabin to the log homes, there's the chainsaws and that you can keep and kind of hear it. You can't really hear it inside the cabin. I don't think you can. If you can, it's very faint. And it runs from six o'clock in the morning till about three in the afternoon. And then, uh, so there's some early noise, but you almost have to go outside the cabin to hear it. Just want to point that out. So you're, you're not renting something out way back in the sticks in the mountains. You're renting it with, there's activity. There's a, a log homes out there and the store but you shouldn't get bored uh, and you should not go hungry. If you go hungry here, it's gonna be your own fault. Uh, so, so this is, this is it. This is uh, some of the Amish style products that we carry. And uh, well, these are some local Huckleberry products we've got. Let's show them over here, the Huckleberry products over here. All those Huckleberries are local, Montana. Uh, huckleberry products and then uh, this is all local honey from Libby Montana all of the extremely nutritious and high very yummy uh, high nu nutrient value honey from our area from McClory's honey large and small so take some of that home it's very healthy raw uncooked unheated uh, honey and then a uh, lot of kind of products you'll find in Amish stores uh, Amish type products you hungry? All the boys are coming in to get food. So, so a lot of bulk items and then uh, uh, what we would call Amish style foods that you find in Amish country, like these kind of jar, uh, jars. And the cheese island, all kinds of small cheese you can grab for your, uh, for your cabin while you're here. Uh, little grab items like that. And the deli is open from, what time is deli open? What hours is that group of sandwiches? Uh, at 7. Oh, it opens at 7, the deli. I, I didn't know that because I never get deli in the morning. The deli opens at 7. 
runs till four? Oh, okay. It's open all the, the same hours that the store's open. From seven in the morning till six at night, Monday through Saturday, five, uh, six days a week. The deli is open, the store is open. And like these young men at the, at the pad, at the metal art, they come in here to get their sandwiches and uh, items that we have for sale at lunchtime. It's good stuff. And here is De uh, Dolores in Asia, and there are some of our baristas here that do the, the Montana Coffee Traders coffee products, and it's very good. It's organic uh, in the morning, at least the morning coffee, or in the pots is organic Montana morning over here, and then we've got cream and a half and a half, and we've got no artificial uh, creamers. It's all gonna be your good stuff and your, your good sweeteners and raw honey. So honey, uh, uh, so the coffee's a big deal, coffee bar's a big deal, bakery items, and uh, I'll come back to, we need to show them the bread, the bread and the bakery items. So this is the old part of the store right here. We enter the old part going out here. We got some gift items here. You can uh, browse through for souvenirs and we'll be adding a lot to this. We're adding a bookstore soon for some books we really cherish when I put out for people. But uh, right now it's got uh, some gift items and some artwork, some local artwork, photos from people in the area right here. And then we got the frozen meats, everything, seafood, meat, beef, some local beef. And then here we got the local eggs and we've got the cream, half and half, and the milk from the, uh, the Calspell Creamery. And uh, they're getting more milk today. So it's, this is the day that the milk shows up so we got these these are uh, non-homogenized all-natural grass-fed milk and uh, we also carry regular milk that's not uh, you know that's processed but this is a uh, local grass-fed awesome tasting cream on top dairy products and this this honey greek yogurt is the best yogurt that i've ever had it is absolutely the best tasting grass-fed all natural cream on top yogurt. It is yummy. So a cooler, full line cooler. This is my dad's, let me turn this around. It's, it's apple cider. Uh, oops, unlabeled. Well, there's, it's that right there. It's the same product. Now these are light, light colored apples. So it's kind of a light cider sometimes. Varies by season. You're gonna wanna try some of our cider out for the cabin or to take with you. Now, my dad likes to sit, let it sit somewhere and start aging, get fizzly and it, he drinks it. Don't get drunk. So, this is now the original old store was just here. This was the old store. This was added on and we added on twice. We actually added on three times. We got ice cream over there. And this is a variety of all kinds of like bent and dent uh, items at a lower price, like the soup and, the, and all kinds of canned goods and uh, a lot of animal, dog foods. And sorry, the, the rentals is pet free. So this dog food, cat food will do you no good because we can't have pets in the, it's, I'm sorry, it's, it's, pet, it's pet free, dog free. So uh, we don't have dogs in the rental. It's got to stay clean. So uh, just uh, cereal items and, and uh, toiletries, coffee, it's all here. So uh, let's go and show them. Uh, I missed the bakery, the baked items. The bakery is back there where we bake all of our uh, baked goods. And we'll show you the, the bacon's out front and we'll let you go because uh, you got other things to do. In the summertime on the outside, there is a seating area, two levels. And we'll take a quick peek at that. So, the boys are getting their food. Some baked items there. And, and we have, uh, this is a local Libby Coffee, Libby Montana Coffee Roasters, it's called Camp Creek. So take some of this home, this is really good. Like a lot of this is organic. Uh, you'll see the organic label on this. Uh, my favorite is the Guatemalan organic from the Camp Creek. And my next favorite is the Montana Coffee Traders uh, organic Montana morning. This is what you'll be drinking in those uh, coffee over there. And from this, uh, from the, the braces, we'll be grinding up every day fresh uh, Montana morning. And then they have this whole variety. This is out of Whitefish, Montana. Uh, and that's our signature brand, uh, brand here for the coffee shop. 
But this is one of my favorites too, is this Camp Creek. And you can take a pack home of whole beans or ground of all flavors and, and styles. So, and then this is also very good Canadian coffee that we, that we, that we have for lower cost. And it's all, my favorite here is the breakfast blend. So these are very good coffees uh, of all styles. And then here is the bakery. Uh, we do a lot of pies. There's a raspberry pie, apple crumb pie, pecan pie, strawberry pie, peach pie, apple. Uh, and then we use organic whole wheat and spelt bread that we make here. And this is my wife's recipe. And so she, my wife is an expert, the best bread maker around. She develops the recipes for the bakers to use to make our bread. And these are some other breads and drinks. So uh, we got some uh, kombucha style drinks. And uh, we'll walk on real fast and show you the, uh, this is some nuts for the Christmas season. Uh, some bulk nuts. And, uh, and I, I didn't mention over there we have produce in the very far corners, produce. Some of it, uh, there's two local farms that are providing local produce. Uh, that uh, is stocked most of the year, especially in the summer, in some greenhouses. So you might get local produce. If not, it's from probably from California. But we try to stock as much local produce as we can. So that looks like that. Is that? Hang on. Emergency exit. Alarm won't sound. We can go out here. So in the summer, this is always open. And this is a seating uh, to bring your food out here or to just simply sit and enjoy the scenery, the mountains that, that way. And a lot of people like to sit here and just watch and look out that direction about 100 yards away where the log home operation is going on and kind of see through there, watch. They, they like the sound of the chainsaws. Uh, people have commented to me that they, uh, in the neighborhood, they like to wake up in the morning and hear them. It sounds like, like, like singing or worship going on. The chainsaws going up and down and stuff. So we do that out there. You can sit here and do that, look at that. In the summer, we have produce and a lot of items outside here. But in the wintertime, that kind of goes away because it's too cold. And so you can sit here to eat your food. And then we'll have more tables in the summer. And then you go up the stairway and you can sit up top here. There's tables there. Uh, and then uh, we have different events here. We have auctions and uh, um, yard sales and barbecues and different events. We'll have more and more as time goes on where we have evening dinners and things like that where you can come out and just have it enjoy the festival and food, eat your food. So this is a seating, not much seating right now, but this is an up, uh, upstairs seating where you can get a better view of the log yard a little bit better. And that's the Metal Art Log Homes office. While you're here, you can, uh, uh, you can purchase your log cabin or log home. And uh, yeah, that's the cabin over there we're talking about way over there thanks for watching and we really hope that you book your room one two three or more nights in that cabin we would be honored to host you and hopefully my wife and i can meet you if we're around sometimes we can say hi but we really want you to enjoy yourself here it's a pretty snowy season yeah but it gets nice and warm later so come and enjoy it and uh, enjoy a little christmas while you're here so god bless y'all and we'll see you here in montana soon